Loose! Kensville's got it! They've got a timeout, they don't use it! Bane! Yes! The Lumberjacks have done it! The Lumberjacks apparently have done it! They'll look a little longer, but this is gonna be the biggest win in program history! Now the officials are gonna look at this, but we both saw the same thing. What a great play to not, you know, mostly you see most guys pull up and try to shoot a jump shot. But this is Bain. He's looking up at the clock. Is the ball out of his hand when that clock goes to zero? Oh my goodness, yes. it is. Nathan Bain, this is your life. Wow. Did you expect this on <laughs> Tuesday night in Durham? How about that? No, I did not expect that. Wow! The Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks roll into Durham, North Carolina, and they slay Goliath. The wow. number one team in the country has a loss for the first time on the season. The ball bouncing around. Stephen F. Austin comes up with it, and again, a scrappy defensive play. Hurt can't handle the ball. Kensmill gets down and grabs it. And then here's Bain. He comes. There could have been a foul there. But Bain, he's taking his time. He knows how much time he's got. Shoots the layup. Doesn't pull up and shoot the jumper. That's great discipline. Wow, what a finish. Stephen F. Austin actually had a timeout. They didn't use it. They let Bain run the floor. And the senior with an intrinsic sense of time is able to make the shot just absolutely incredible. Can't imagine a bigger win for the Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks. All right, Kyle Keller, fourth year head coach Stephen F. Austin joins us now. And coach, good guy. Miss Molly, what are you thinking about right now? I uh, just, you know, to be honest with you, I, I just appreciate Coach Shashevsky playing us. I mean, he, he did, he did pick and choose who they play, and, and I'm just grateful that, that uh, and honored that he would play us because he didn't have to play us. And our, we're just a small little school in East Texas, and we just appreciate him giving us this opportunity. Kyle, what was going through your mind when all your guys were in foul trouble? You know, it's, we, we don't care who plays. We don't care who we guard. It just, it's a, we just try to be a true team, and we got 12 or 13 guys. We've been battling the flu. We've actually practiced pretty terrible this week, and I was, I told my wife today, I said, uh, you know, I hope we don't have, we just don't, we continue to fight. And we've got a bunch of new guys who, who try to fight, and just the next man up, like they talk about in the NFL, that kind of stuff. It was a, you know, it was a fun night. I learned a lot about my team today, for sure. <laughs> I would th I would say so. What was the key to you guys scoring so effectively inside? You know, we just drove the ball. I got a lot of confidence in our guy. Obviously, Kemon Harris, the senior, kept us in the game early, drove the ball, and got fouled, and, and uh, you know, showed some will and toughness. He's won games like this. I mean, we just won at LSU, and we won at Baylor, and, and uh, this is obviously, it's a huge win for our program, and, and, and Stephen F. Austin, and... and you know, our former president, Baker Patillo, who passed away a year ago. And this means a lot to a lot of people at Stephen F. Austin. We really appreciate this opportunity. And our kids really battled up. It was a, I told my assistants that during the game, I said, man, are you guys having as much fun as I am? Because it's a lot of fun out here. Regardless of what was happening, I had a great time tonight. Well, congratulations. That was wonderful. Thanks. Coach, if you don't mind, we'd love uh, to hear from you. I'll give you to my Bain. senior. I mean, because this kid, he's from the Bahamas. His family's lost their house they lost they have a school of 600 kids they lost their church they lost their school and this kid's gone he's only had everything on his body operated on him mean, he means so much to us and his programming bodies everything and, and he's walking around he can't even practice and it's a lot of fun coach thank is. you so much for your time yes all right uh, nathan bain first off congratulations just a wonderful story your backstory where you got from from where to here and Tell me about that last play. Your thought process when that ball was loose and you had to figure out quickly score, time, and what to do. Uh, 
Well, that last play, I saw my teammates battling for the rebound. I knew they was going to get it. I was I was preparing myself to go into uh, next overtime to battle against these dudes who I give credit to. Duke is a, the mecca of basketball, so a lot of credit to them. But I saw my teammate grab it, and uh, I looked up at the clock. We had about 2.6 seconds. I was like, I got to get on my horse. I know he saw me. So I just, I'm going to just go as fast as I can to try to lay it up. It's like a layup. It's like a layup drill. And, um, you know, I, I can feel the dude on my back, so I laid it up, and I just, just pray to God, just pray to God in. Now, were you confident that you had enough time? Oh, I was confident. I just, I wasn't sure if the dude was going to follow me or not at the end, so I just, I wanted to get it on the rim just to give us a chance. You know, we, you do layup drills from the moment you touch a basketball, and that was just another one. It's a lot, of, it's a different pressure when people, someone chasing your back for the game, but it's a layup. <laughs> it's a layup, but it's different pressure there's somebody chasing if you make the shot you beat the number one team in the country how do you you know tell us what's going through your mind now man it's just i'm trying real hard not to get emotional you know my family lost a whole lot this year Whew, i'm not gonna cry on tv my family lost a whole lot this year and uh no I just, i'm just playing this game for them you know just playing for my sfa family my family back home in the bahamas you know i was i just want to make my country proud and my whole team that's behind me, my other two seniors, you know, John Cramptel, but he was giving us energy. He won't provide the spark, fucking you know, with the team effort. You know, when everything happened or early inside the year, you know, they had my back, and I just wanted to return the favor. You know? Nathan Bain, the pride of Nassau and Bahamas. Congratulations. Freeport, Freeport Bahamas, baby. Freeport Bahamas. Please Bahamas. enjoy it. We enjoyed watching you. Just a joy to watch play, and congratulations. You're going to remember this for a long time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Nathan Bain, Kyle Keller, Kevon Harris, the Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks. What a win for that program. Who would have thunk on a Tuesday night in the tail end of November that we would see the Lumberjacks take down the number one team in the country, Mike Krzyzewski's Duke Blue Devils, but we did. That's why we watch. That's why we care.